And now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. It was frigid out there yesterday. We only got to 17 degrees in Springfield, a high of only 10 in Rawa and Clinton, and 12 in Lake of the Ozarks. Temperatures will start to head up from here. We are already starting to do that. It's about 5 to 10 degrees warmer now than it was yesterday. Of course, that doesn't really say much because we started out with temperatures below zero in spots, but it is 5 degrees in Rawa, 7 in Lake of the Ozarks, and 16 in Springfield right now. Winds are starting to shift out of the south. And that will help us warm up eventually as we head through the afternoon. But for now, it is putting wind chills still pretty bitter. They're near zero. It feels like two in Springfield and minus 10 in Rawa. So while it's not as bad as it was yesterday, it's still pretty frigid. You'll still need hats, gloves, mittens, scarves, and bundling up there. Remember to cover all exposed skin, limit time outside. And remember the pets, it's still pretty frigid out there for them this morning. The Arctic high pressure is just a two hour north and east. And look at what's happening. We are starting to get on the back side of it, which will kick a south wind in the Ozarks. And that south wind will kick the high out of here. And that Arctic air is now shifting to New England and the east. East Coast, and they're getting a little bit of a taste of what we had the last couple of days. So, uh, with this with the south wind, we'll start to see temperatures warm up above freezing. We're looking at temperatures at 43 degrees today. 44 is that average. We will have a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon. Breezy south winds gust up to 25 miles per hour at times, and again, those temperatures make it into the 40s. Uh, we will have some temperatures stuck in the 30s up to the north and east. But uh, again, still at or above freezing. Uh, some low to middle 40s to the south. Overnight, clouds thickening. We could have some drizzle or some flurries possible. Any accumulations will be really light, and most locations stay dry. Temperatures uh, stay in the middle 30s. And then by tomorrow, we'll keep mostly cloudy skies, and temperatures crank it up a notch a little bit more. Some middle and upper 40s for Friday. Then the weekend will really have a very nice mild air mass continue to overspread across the Ozarks, and that's going to send temperatures. Even warmer again, seasonal today, a little bit warmer tomorrow. Temperatures in the little middle 60s by Saturday and Sunday, holding on to some mild temperatures through Monday and Tuesday. Another front will take us back down to the 30s by Wednesday. Uh, but again, we're looking at a very nice couple of days where we will get to defrost and thaw out from the deep freeze that we've been in. On Sunday, if you're doing some Super Bowl parties, uh, tailgating, we'll have temperatures around 60, mostly cloudy skies and a breezy south wind. Maybe a few showers. Hours by kickoff, but I think they'll hold off until maybe halftime or the end of the game. Probably on your way home from the Super Bowl parties, you'll run into a couple of showers, but temperatures will still be mild in the 50s and 60s. 43 degrees today, warmer, steady south winds gust up to 25 miles per hour. 36 overnight, some drizzle and flurries possible. 48 tomorrow, we'll have some thick clouds, maybe a couple of sprinkles, but again, temperatures continuing to step upward little by little. Warm and breezy on Saturday, temperature 61. Some showers late on Sunday, 64 degrees there. We'll keep things quiet on Monday. Maybe we start out with some rain, but we'll have a drier afternoon. And then another stronger cold front comes through on Tuesday with a chance of rain showers there. And then that will take temperatures back down into the uh, 30s by Wednesday. So uh, again, a little bit of a warming trend and a warm up of like 70 degrees from where we were yesterday. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I'm okay with that, right? And we got